Why do you think all the guys can tease you down at the feet every time you, you talk? And I say, so what you're saying is blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. I said, well, why didn't you just fucking say that? Why did you go on with this whole story? It's like listening to, um, they go on. Um, what was that, Floyd's, Floyd's Barbershop on Hee Haw? Well, well, let me tell you something about the ding dong. Well, they go on. They've got to describe the whole thing. I don't need to hear the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Like just now, you could just said, it was like Floyd's Barbershop. I mean, I show. Well, I, I was trying to do an invitation. I'm trying, you know, but... You know, like, well, what I'm saying is... Some people, they just... What I'm saying on. is if you... With the thing with the, the pendulum and the divining rod, if you don't... If you don't get very specific and precise, it actually can, it confuses it. Did you ever think it gets bored, too? Or it gets pissed. Oh, yeah, like, get to your effing point. It's saying the same thing. It gets pissed. They don't want somebody to drag something out so much. Well, most people don't know how to act. Most people are not I, I, I can tell when a pendulum gets pissed, it'll answer you really wide. Most people just it, don't. It, it'll go like... No, that's just... No, that's not true. That's a big answer. That's all that is. The size of the swing means nothing. Ask it. It will tell you. It means absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Does the size of your response mean anything? Does this the size? Uh, you should isolate your arm. Oh, yeah, you're right about that. Does the size of your response mean anything? Well, that one oh. says yes. Okay, now when you give us a big swing, does that represent a definite yes? Give a small swing. Does it represent a definite yes? Well, let it, let it. Mm. But you've already got a yes. yes. Well, I wanna, I wanna, yeah. Well, you already got it. When you give a small swing, is it a yes, but not as positive? No, no. Just say, is that just an yes? See, there you go. No, I get agreed with Billy. Okay, I'll say so. So a small clockwise swing is a yes, nevertheless. Contradicts your very first question. Well, that's a definite. That's a definite clockwise swing. And I'm braced. My elbows on the table, and my hand is on my forehead. There's no. There is absolutely no way I could be swinging this. Don't talk so much once you spawn. No, you, I think it likes the rapport. No. no like well, what are we fucking robots? We're human beings. No, we're talking to an entity. Here. Oh, okay. Let it, talk. All right. Let it respond. All right, now. You don't treat it like a joke. Like say, don't no, I'm play. not mocking it. Don't ever tease a Ouija board. It's no. not the meant to be. No, I'm it's not. not meant no, to be no. A toy. It's not a toy. <laughs> Too many, and you know what? Well, who makes it? Milton Bradley or something? Or it doesn't matter who would make it's it. It's in a toy store, and they you treat know, it like you a can toy. Make your own by drawing it on paper. Yeah. You know they have a glow in the dark one now. No, they've had that for 20 years. Yeah. Unfortunately, they treat it like a toy. It's well, not. You're making a big mistake if you do. It's far from it. Believe me. Now you and I are large guys. We're over six feet tall. Well. What the hell am I gonna do? I mean, I've seen worse than this, but what the hell am I going to do with this much yogurt? What does size have to do with eating yogurt? It's fucking small. So what? I mean, whatever happened to the 8-ounce cups of yogurt they used to uh, sell? They're smaller, I guess. I don't know. But they downsized them. I guess. Call the company and complain. Don't tell me no, about it. No, it's, it's not just this company. It's, it's a trend. Call more. Yeah. Let them know. That's what they're there for. I mean, That's why they have hotlines. It's like Swanson Hungry Man Dinner. Let's be honest. By telling me, nothing will get done. How do you handle a hungry but man? Again, by you calling them, do you think anything right. will get done too? The manhandler. And then when you rip it open, yeah, there's hardly any food them, there. Do you think anything will get done? Ice cream, same thing. So, downsizing. Do you want to waste your time and contact them or realize nothing will happen if you do? Well, if I contact them, a customer service rep will, will apologize to me a thousand times. That's all. And this will be the same size for you. Yeah. Or, or maybe smaller. So I, actually, there are ones that are smaller. You just learn not to bother. Right. 
Okay, six ounces. Why did you bring that with you? Six ounces. It used to be eight ounces, so for two lousy ounces. How can we brought that with you, Jim? Because I'm I'm making a point. You brought that with you? Yeah. Well, it's gonna go in the garbage. Yeah, that's what I mean. Why bring it with you? Throw it out of home. No. no, I mean it's a visual point. Oh God. Wonder where old Eileen's been, huh? Oh, you and that Eileen. Please don't even. Don't uh, uh, don't disrupt the the relax the relaxation moment we're having. She's vanished. Yeah. So um, so it's all good. Your divining rod was a great buy. It has a copper sleeve tube. It, it might spin without the straw, but it doesn't matter. I'm making the straw anyway. The straw is just in case. Um, yeah, I'm doing the uh, I'm doing the blue tube anyway. Yeah, but lose my, my eyes, obviously. Yeah. No, well, I'm just saying. You, I, I have them, so, you know. Well, I can't wait for football to get back. And all my friends, even in the morning on the old phone, I'm like, God, let's get football back. Oh. Well, well, I feel sorry for the preseason teams have to play in the, in the friggin' summer heat in, in October, in, in August. Well, it's good, it's good condition. When I was young, you know, me. cardiovascular, you're sucking hot air. You're breathing hot air. It didn't phase me. Yeah. You know, but you've only heard a couple a couple guys dying throughout the history of the NFL. Now well, it's all due they were on steroids. Yeah. You know. Well, it's also... Remember, remember, I've been there. I've been there. So yeah. I played. But it's also nothing like crisp, cold autumn air going into your lungs. Well, which is why they have warnings every winter. Even the healthiest should not be shoveling snow. It's not healthy for you. The yeah. heart cannot take cold air coming into your heart wound. I told an asthmatic, I says, um, they have, at the dollar store, they have washable uh, dust masks. That's the perfect thing to wear if you're going to shovel snow. Well, because you, you really should just could, take it nice Well, you're breathing, what, what's happening is you're breathing your hot air. You should take it nice and slow, no yeah. matter what. Hey, nobody's in great shape. Get that golden rule through your head. Nobody's no, in but there shape. has been emergency situations with people shoveling snow. I think I'm just saying. Yeah. Don't nobody is in right. great shape. I know. You had uh Especially who, if you're middle aged. No, any age. The guy died. He said, Luckily they got me back. I was in phenomenal shape. I died. Jim Ryan, I think it was, the guy that broke the mile. He died. So nobody is in great shape. The doctors on CNN said nobody is in great well, shape. I, well, I, well, I know physical exertion by breathing cold air will trigger an asthmatic attack. That I know. It's not just asthma. The heart and the lungs can't take yeah. it. They give warnings. And again, like they said, I can't get through it. You tell them they want to get argued. Then you shovel all you want. I don't care. And all my the guys in the morning said, Billy, you got me better well than ever. I told, I told this uh, senior family, I said, you're better off hiring a landscaper with snowblowers. They just don't get it. It's a, what's, what's, what's better to... Uh, well, I know, I know, but they know, just don't get it. You're not supposed to be doing it. To drop That's dead, end up in the emergency room? And the emergency rooms get packed. Yeah. You can't get through. My sister has the landscaper that comes now and come in the winter time and he does a great job. You can't get through to people. You, know? you can't get through. What's your buddy doing back there? He, his face, his nose is very close to the monitor, so he, it looks like he's really concentrating on something important. But how important can it be if he does it for, if he does it for free? They're the best. Yeah. I'm surprised that he does public speaking at all with that um, personality of his. I can only imagine what the audience is like. You imagine how sensitive the microphone would have to be and how big the speakers would have to be? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. He's like Mumbles from uh, Dick Tracy. Was that it? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm. No, he's not a public speaker. He's lucky he can converse with, with two or three people. And he will not listen to advice. Now, coming in, obviously, the way these these underage girls address is proof that young outside young mothers 
don't have no idea the trouble that their daughters can get into by walking around like that. What should be a law? What are you, a fashion police? No, I mean they're wearing Daisy Dukes, is what I'm saying. And it can attract bad people. And it shouldn't, but how many bad people do you see going after them so far? None. A girl should be allowed to walk around naked. It doesn't give you the right to touch her. No, but shit happens. <coughs> like the old saying goes. It also happens if you don't wear these things. Yeah. Girls are wearing winter coats. Well, you don't want to entice. Street. You don't want to entice perverts. You don't want to have them preaching to you about how to dress. You dress the way you want to dress. Let nobody tell you what yeah. to do. Well, young young par young parents suck anyway. They suck. They suck. Age. Well, that's got nothing to do with it. The point yeah. is, the girl has the right to dress the way she wants. Well, these are minors. They don't. They have, they all dress that way. They have that right to dress that way. It looks nice. Oh, there's that's a magic word. They have the right. They have they have no rights if they're a minor. Their parent is the alpha. Their parent no. is the boss. Human beings all have rights. We are all born with well, inalienable rights. Well, if they're abused, rights. if they're abused, we they have a rights. We yes. Are all born with inalienable rights. Oh, speaking of, of of abuse and stuff, now all of a sudden Donald Trump is compassionate. I know. I, know. I heard, don't don't repeat that. I know. I heard his big spiel today. We'll yeah. see what happens. Yeah, he's compassionate. Yeah, no, no need to go on and on about him because nobody can agree on CNN about it. They're like, well, we'll see what he does, really. Yeah. So that's. Uh, but I think I, and they agree. CNN said that they think Melania got through it. He's an ass. Yeah, just an ass. Poor kids are traumatized, man. Okay. At the, the border. What do you think the parents are? At the border. Yeah, they're worried about where their kids are. Oh. Or who's who's you, abusing them? Oh, why do you think they left their country? What do you think about the traumatization down there? Well, they left it because there were many were in danger. Your, your children were yanked away from you for throwing the prostitution or, or gangs. One lady today said everything she made the sweatshops, the gangs took. So there you go. What do you think about their traumatic actions? Or experiences. I mean. It sounds like uh, when Castro took over from Batista, took over Cuba. They... I don't know if it was this bad. Well, they took everything from everybody. <clears throat> yeah, they... these people don't. These people don't get it. Oh, we shouldn't accept people. Yeah, they have no choice. They're pushed out by their own country, and we want to push them yeah. back. Well, well, tell me that where that makes sense. Their nation is run by thugs. So that's what I just said. Gangs. Hey, listen. This is what happens when two goddamn adults sit down. They talk. They doing. talk. But, but you you don't want me to talk at all. You cut me off at the pass. Now you're starting up again. You cut me off at the pass. No, I'm not. I'm not starting Stop up. Stop it. You're starting up again. And, and this I, is what two people do. That's what I'm doing. Stop it. But you you don't you won't let me say anything. Because you're repeating what I just cut through saying. So I you're the only one that can talk? I don't repeat what I said. It's already been covered. That's my point. It's been so covered. Oh, why? You take a lot of things so way too seriously. Take what it these, easy. What these goddamn people are going through isn't serious. Huh? What do you think it is? It's not serious what they're going through? No, it's very serious. So don't give me that bullshit. Well, I don't like to be, uh, what's, what's the word? Well, then get uh, to a good uh, point. Uh, censored. That's the word I'm looking you for. You can't repeat what I said. It's been covered. Go continue on with a better statement. Continue it on. That's the God damn it, Jimmy. It, it was already said. Oh, I said they were threatened down there. They're pushed here, then we want to push them back. Where's the happy place? There isn't any. So what's the answer? That was my point. Then you went crazy again. So what's the point? Hey. No, Jimmy, I, answer the question. I what's digress the and rant all Jimmy, the time, Jimmy, even on my shows. Jimmy, what's the point? I don't care about the shows. What's the no, point? No, in general. What's the point? I don't care. What, I ask you, what's the point for these people if well, they have nowhere to go? You're pushed out, all right. you're pushed back. Right. What's the, what's the what, answer? What are they going to do? You're, well, well, political, what did I tell you well, yesterday? Well, you're between a rock well, and a hard well, place. Well, political right? asylum happens to be legal. That's not the point. Well, it's kind of the point. Kind of the point. The point what, what options do they have? No, they don't have to, any options. That's what I'm trying to get to. If we... If our own government can't arrive at an option, what, what are you and I going to do? Hey, okay? Rachel Maddow was in tears. I well, mean, a lot of them have been in tears. No wonder to see these photographs. Well, Ra My God, Jimmy. Well, Rachel Maddow is in, the, is in the spotlight. So, therefore, that's why people are talking about it. Ah, they're all... all pissed off about it, but it's wrong what's going on, but nobody has the answer. That's the bottom line. Does anybody have the answer? No. No. 
You might say you have the answer. I might say I don't agree with that. I can't. I can't think no, no, of. My point is, you might have the answer. I might say I don't agree with that. That's what they're doing in D.C. I don't like your answer. Oh, I don't want this one. Well, we want to do this. I don't like that. That's the point. Nobody can get to anything. Yeah. So what is the answer? Did you ever think <laughs> some things just don't have a, a solution? Yeah, because both sides bring up. Cannot up. agree. Well, they bring up good points. Uh, uh, Trump is worried about uh, about well, MS-13 members com coming in. Well, everybody cares about killing MS-13. Get rid of them. And destroy them. You know, they're, but they're, they're non -human. But don't take it out on innocent, scared, frightened well, people. That, that, by then again, that's what he's been doing. Now he's supposedly going to stop that. My, my, my I told you, my friend, is, the, the her relatives are are trying to come to the United States legally, like Trump says. But what eight, is, what eighteen did years. Say on the Statue of Liberty. 18, I think it's Statue of Liberty. Bring you strong and you're weary, or uh, you're strong. And huddled you're, masses. Huddled you're, masses. Bring us your tired, tired, your weary, weary, strong, and huddled masses. And huddled mass. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know my point. Yes. So why are we living by that? Yeah. And and if the system, if the legal system of immigration works, then why are are these people waiting 18 years to get a green card? That are getting why? Why is it when you're promised citizenship if you serve in the military, you, you get discharged and you're kicked back to your country? You served this country in Afghanistan or Iraq or what have you. Why is that too, Jimmy? You're told when you join up, you are promised. That is a fact. You are promised citizenship. Okay, so, what happened to that? So as a veteran, you come back and nobody and gives not, a and shit kick, about and you. And they kick you out. That's my point. And, and nobody's taking care of them. What? Well, Jimmy, let me ask you another thing. Homeless Who's veterans. Who's taking care of our VA? It's one of the biggest messes in this country. Okay, so there you go again. You see, the VA is a mess. I mean, the very concept of a... No, my, my point is, we can't even take care of our VA. How can we take care of the veterans? Yeah. This, who, how do we send these immigrants back? What have we or can we take care of? I you mean, tell me. I mean, the very concept of a person who was in Afghanistan or Iraq... No, but but or, be concise. Being homeless. What can we, what have we taken care of? Be Nothing. Concise. If you're poor, if you're rich, you get, a, you know, you get favors. Hey, Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong Un. You don't always. Hey, hey, but, you've got the former governor of Bo Bogoyevich out of, out of Illinois serving prison time, unless this this moron uh, yeah. uh, uh, pardons him or something. So there you go too. But we have in yeah. prison governors and what have you. I mean, Trump is. is and, but, and what is this other guy, this Scott Pruitt, getting away with murder, flying private jets and everything all over the place? And why did, why did Ben Ben uh, brain surgeon, who's a nut job? Oh, Car Carson? 31, Carson? Yeah, one of 31,000 to put it in a new desk or whatever in his office. What are you all thinking? Boy, that got silenced quick, didn't it? Yeah, Trump, Trump, Trump is praising... Uh, but didn't that get silenced quick? He canceled the order quick? Yeah. That was done in like two days. Right. So there you go. Open yeah. your mouths and tell people no. Uh, this is ridiculous. I mean, I mean, all this time... Uh, Murderous military dictators get praised by the Trump administration, but but veterans are homeless, children are crying their eyes out. You know that. That's your great president. You know, I don't feel. Like, I tell people I don't feel like I have a president. And all these like inbred rednecks all love them. All naturally they look. Oh yeah. Hey Jimmy. Okay. When you've got David Duke and the Klan saying we love you, Donald Trump. Yeah. So that's your great endorsement, hot shot. I said, you, you have nobody behind you. You have hate groups loving you. And that's your base, as you like to call it? I said, don't give them any crap. Your base sucks. And what about the 11 states I told you about that bottled together? You, told, you know I detest the electoral vote. Well, 11 states bottled together. Now, the electoral votes go automatically to whoever gets the popular vote in that state. Finally, a little headway. Did you know that? Well, I know people were really. Well, did you know 11 states bonded together and did that? No, that I didn't That's know. 11 so far. How many will follow suit? Because I've told you, the Electoral College is bullshit. And the he, super delegates is bullshit this too. This guy lost With by four million votes. The Democratic Party. He lost, Jimmy. Yeah. By four million votes. Well, Hillary got the popular vote. I've just said that he lost by four million. No, votes. No, I said Hillary got the popular I, that's vote. I just said he lost by four million votes. See my point? That's why he lost by four million plus votes. Is that fair? I don't think so. And, and, and you wonder why people argue, and, 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 why and, should I bother to vote? And as American citizens, I think it's despicable that 63% did not vote at all. 
that's always the case. That's all. No, you've always got those. No, you, no, you got, you got, you got hedonistic, selfish party, or party, vote, party, party animals. My vote doesn't count now. The way they hate Trump or whatever. Now you might see a bigger turnout because they say we're getting this guy out of here. Yeah. You might see a bigger turnout. He can't even admit that his his inauguration was one of the smallest ever. He said it was the biggest ever. Remember with Charles Spicer? Come on, man. It's a pathological liar. Well, they showed the photos. He had so few people there. Come on, man. He will not admit to anything. And he will never apologize. Well, I told you what he said the other day. I've never asked forgiveness because I've never sinned. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Stop the bullshit. She, boy, his mother really must have coddled him. She's a, she had to be an asshole. You don't hear much about her, though. No, you only hear about his slumlord of a, of a dad who, who didn't want to fix rent, anything. Wouldn't want to rent the blacks. Well, he, he also never want to fix anything. He's a scumbag. Is Donald Trump an egomaniacal, pathological liar? Yes. There you go. Right into it. Right into it, yes. That's it. Clockwise move. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we okay, got... Does, does Donald Trump yeah, hold on, hold suffer on. severely from mental and psychological issues? Does Donald Trump suffer severely from mental and psychological issues? Do a yes. Well, you know, you know, when he had the show The Apprentice... Wait, wait let me ask you real quick. So, is Donald Trump an absolutely horrible president? Is Donald Trump an absolutely horrible president? There you go. Right into it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I was going to ask... Um, when you start praising these leaders of the world that are suck ass and the greatest allies you've alienated, what does it say about you? That says that maybe deep you don't know damn thing what you're doing. Maybe, do you? maybe deep down he's just as bad as they are. If he, uh, why do you think he's afraid of the Russian probe, Jimmy? Something is going on. He doesn't want to get out. You and know, you know, it's going you to know get every out. time someone was in opposition to Vladimir Putin, they were found dead. I know, poison the whole bit. Do you know? Do you know? Trump wants to have a meeting with with Un and Putin together. Oh, jeez. I said, well, why doesn't he invite Duterte? Of, 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 of the Philippines also, and, and Assad of Syria have a good five But well, we never hear any dirt on him from the Philippines. We never really, yes, in the media. Yes, we have. Yes, we have in the past. Not lately, mm -hmm. no. But he bragged about how many people he murdered. The guy's a scumbag. So, a so I guess all military dictators have the same... Same psychopathic uh, Can you name a great military leader? No. Okay, there you go. And they're all corrupt. Okay. Well, if... if, if well, a, no, no, no. You did have one that people respected greatly. was Francis Charles de Gaulle. He was a former military leader. But we had Dwight Eisenhower, Jimmy. Come on. Okay, Dwight, oh, Dwight Eisenhower. Dwight was fantastic. Okay, he was a former military leader. Like Teddy, like Teddy Roosevelt, too. Another, there you go. Two of the greatest Republicans. So, you can't say just military. And Abe that. Lincoln... Was a great Republican too. Well, but he wasn't a military leader. No, 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 no. Ulysses S. Grant, who took over when he got. You know what the S stands for? Sapsucker. Nothing. He doesn't have a middle name. So they, they just decided. He thought it sounded better than just plain Ulysses Grant. So he had an S. Well, it's more sophisticated. That's the point. He said it sounds. It's like better. It's like William H. Morrow versus Bill Morrow. Or Billy Morrow. Billy Morrow. It's William H. Morrow. Sound, though. Look at some of your actors. William. You know? Some of your actors are named Mike something. Others are named Michael something. Certain things have a ring. Certain things don't have a ring to them. Um, well, you said you think James sounds better. You said that just the other day. Well, it does because... But that, that's my point. Because that, pe people have point. said James Bond to me every time they hit a word James. Know, but that, the point, I, you know, right to the point. I, my point was certain things have a better ring to them. That's yeah. it. Samuel Jackson, does he use a middle initial? Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. 
You don't hear his name is Sam Jackson. That sounds more like a singer, doesn't it? Or Sammy Jackson. Does that sound like more of a singer? Yeah, if you're a singer, you Sam know. Sam Jackson. Yeah. You know? Um, see, see how it's all on the ring to it. Earl Jones. Hey, here Who's he is. that guy, Earl here Jones? He is. Did you like Mike Jackson's music? King? Mike Jackson? Yeah. No, they, they call him Mike. That's my point. Samuel, S Samuel, ja yeah, Samuel, yeah, right. Jim Jones? Um, Did um, he kill all those people by having him drink Kool Aid? No, it was James Earl Jones. James, see, it's, everything is an image. You're creating an image. The, the voice of Darth Vader. Uh, I, I just said that, James Earl Jones. James Earl and that's Jones. that's the whole point, is, is an image you're creating. Oh, look at that. Oh, that look, oh, are you talking about the board? The board. Yeah. See, it's all image. In essence, the old uh, uh, Canon camera thing with uh, Andre Agassi was right. Image is everything. You're right. Who's going to sell better? The Beatles looking the way they did? Or a group of 80 year old men with gray hair can barely stand, but they sound just as good if not better than the Beatles. Image is everything. But some, some of them are icons like the Rolling Stones. No matter how well, old they not, get. Nothing to do with, no, that's the same thing. Yeah. They, they maintain their, their age pretty well. And too. they're still writing new songs. But, you know, but if they look different, like 80 year old men, would they? No. They're good. I Keith Richards is uh, Keith Richards looks like a like a like a. He's gotten better with age. And the other one that's aged, the only one of the group, because they had three or four changes, that's aged gracefully. He's a drummer, Charlie Watts. How's Phil Collins look these days from the Genesis? Same. He has an age, really. He has an age. Yeah, what a great group that was. Well, which one? The original. When Phil Collins was the drummer and the backup singer, or when when the Peter Gabriel left and Phil Collins became lead singer. I didn't like them with, uh, 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 who did I just say was the lead singer? Peter Gabriel, no, Phil Collins. Phil Con oh. No, he was second. Oh, I, don't was the I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, who, what, well, anyway, they were better with, with, uh, oh, I was right. Okay, Peter Gabriel, they weren't as good. They were better with Phil Collins when he came. That's when uh, Genesis hit their stride. Did you like progressive rock, like yes? The group, yes. I don't call that group progressive. I think it was just great rock. Yes. Rock and roll. Yeah, they were great. They still are. You hear the musicians were impeccable. With, with yes. Humble Pie. Great band. Uh, Motorhead. No, nah, they weren't big. No. Nah. No, nah, they were small. Humble Pie. Um, <clears throat> I got all the 60s, 70s. Yeah. ZZ Top, I love I love them. Well, they're still big. My buddy yeah. went to see them. Uh, they're Texas boys. 38 Special. Uh, Little so Skinner, many. The Outlaws. So many hits. You know, all these bands are great. Chicago, Aerosmith, Beach Boys. These are the icon groups. Yeah. Well, oh, Chicago, I like the fact that that horns and they, they just had just a diverse. Well, that was a unique, distinct sound. They had a yeah. horn section. I saw the original, original, in 1970 71 with Terry Kath before he committed suicide or the gun accident. Yeah. At Carnegie Hall. And I think I told you, my buddy was the percussionist. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Howard, with them and Santana. And Santana. Well, we'll talk about Feather and his cap. Oh. Santana was known for having great percussion. And he, said, he said, Billy, I said, I said but Howard, I was at that, con I was at Carnegie Hall that night. He said, well, that was me, bud. Oh, the old bands you can't beat. The British Invasion. You can't. Dave Clark Five. My God. Let's just see the um, the embarrassing thing about Trump, aside from insulting our allies, is his constant lying every day. Oh, Jimmy, have you seen the wall? Washington Post. They publish his total total amount of lies. It's over four thousand. Okay? Yeah. 4,000, Jimmy. And, and, this and, guy does nothing but lie. And he's so obsessed over this wall, man. This overpriced, well, yeah, overrated you know, wall. Well, you know so much, baby. You can answer me. I never said I knew everything. I'm making a facetious oh, okay, point. Oh, okay, okay. God damn it, Jimmy. I know. Now maybe you can make, answer me a question. Okay. How much money have we received so far from Mexico? Oh. 
But I thought they're going to pay for everything. Oh, that's weird, because he was trying to bully Mexico. <laughs> I don't care. You can bully all you want. How much have we got? No, they gave him the middle finger. Why don't they ask him, the, or the, the, the press, <laughs> how much have we gotten, Mr. Trump? Why not? And you, the, see my, you see my point? Yeah. And the war can only be in certain areas. Because oh, it of, doesn't matter. Like I said, it, they're going to go under it and over it still. It will not make listen, any difference. They are expert tunnelers. The, the war oh, is not going to make a difference. That doesn't matter. Did, did, I, did I tell you what the... Uh, Vincente Fox said that... Uh, you ever hear of a $25 ladder? Yeah, did you ever hear of... Uh, remember years ago, not too long, Cali Cartel tried to buy a used Russian nuclear submarine? Jeez. Do you remember that? For smuggling purposes, right? Yeah. You know Vincente Fox, former president of Mexico. Oh, he said he said no fucking words what he said. He goes to work. Yeah, I know. Oh, his videos are funny, talking, tearing apart Trump. But he, he says even a thirty dollar ladder from freaking Home Depot. I mean I mean well, that's what I mean. They there's they're gonna go under it over still. Or around it. And and then Trump kept on saying walls work. He Where? Where do walls? Well, yes, the Berlin Wall did. People were getting shot and killed all the time. Yeah, because they had <laughs> so that, snipers. That, that one did work. Yeah. And wow. the DMZ, which is not a wall, it's a wire fence with barbed wire over in the, the Korean, the Koreas. That seems to work. Very so, few get some through. Some coward, macho man, Border Patrol individual shot this unarmed uh, Mexican female trying to cross. Oh, real tough guy. Oh, yeah. Real tough guy shooting an un unarmed young Mexican woman. Well, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy. Real ma our cops macho. Our killing our, our, our black people, too, okay? A lot of our cops are uh, quick on the trigger as well. So, yeah, it doesn't... Um, I saw a video of a um, an elderly man who was drunk causing a disturbance at a bar, and this cop had to take a sniper rifle and shoot him point blank and the guy only had um like a razor blade in his in his hand like a little a little like a wilkinson sword or something That's insane. you can't apprehend an you're old man you're taught hand -to -hand combat yeah, I mean a little a little blade like that. You can't like apprehend him. No, that's that's just not. Right. Oh, big tough guy had a, had a sniper rifle point well, blank. You cops don't know how to talk to you a lot. Uh, I told my friend, man, I know a lot of cops, and I said, you guys do this yelling crap, which gets you gets them hyped up, but it gets you guys hyped up as well. Which is wrong. Don't don't didn't I've they? Done, I've done it. Where didn't my they? Friends, yeah. Where my friends were having trouble with somebody when I was walking down the street. In Ridgewood, <clears> didn't they ever hear of disfusing a situation? Well, when I was walking down the street in Ridgewood a few times, and my friends were all cops, and they were trying to handle a guy who's young, and I just walked over. And I said, well, calm down, relax. You've disfused many situations. And you know what they said? The what? guy that I calmed down, you were so nice. You see, words. Oh, not. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Uh, license, registration, insurance card, please. Okay, sir. Thank you. Boom. But he, they don't, they're not trained in how to communicate with a, a, a what do you call it? Not a pulp, but a uh, perp, whatever perpetrator. Let's look at Dragnet. Called. They were polite. Joe well, Friday. They were, Jimmy, don't use that. It's a, they were stiff as boards. They couldn't even walk. Them. Yeah, but they, they treated even suspects with certain degree Gee, of respect. You don't think being on TV had anything to do with the plot, do you? Why, FBI agents? It's the facts, man. It's about the facts. They talk monotone, they walk monotone. Their arms, well, didn't, they, their arms didn't swing, Jimmy. Think about that. Robotic, yeah. Yes, they were. I think, I think Jaime the robot from Get Smart had more personality. Oh, they were this... Dick, Dick Gautier. I would all, I've never heard anybody say, but I wonder what, what Jack Webb's reason for writing that way of walking. Well, they, what I'm saying, they use sir and ma'am. No, know. but why did he write that da -da. method of walking into the script or the plot? Why did he want them to walk that way? Really, think about it. What's the purpose? What's the purpose of uh, Desi Arnaz and Lucio Ball having separate beds with, with pajamas up to their friggin' chin? It's called the censorship bureau. It's the wall. Hey, hey, what Petri's did too. They all yeah. did at that time. You weren't allowed. 
Yeah. Well, you my, know that? When I asked my grandmother where babies came from, she says the hospital. You you place an order for them, and then and all of a sudden the baby's delivered. Well, she's right. <laughs> well, they are nothing, delivered. But sex has nothing to do with it. No, they just like you place the order, like a, like a Spiegel cat. Yeah, no, an actual white bird delivers. Yeah, right, Jim. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. But she was honest when I asked her what are breasts for. She says they're for feeding the baby. At least she was honest about that. Well, partially honest. Okay. Isn't it funny how um, a non-sexual organ and a non-sexual muscle, like the gluteus maximus, the, the buttocks, are actually looked upon as sexually stimulating? Meanwhile, they, they're they not related well, to sex at all. Barbara Eden, I dream of Jeannie, not, the, not, not allowed to show her navel. Or hip bones. Yeah. Now you got hip bones and navels galore. Yeah, well, I am really glad that they had that. Well, all because of that very nice gentleman that works here. I feel air conditioning. Well, it's better than it was yesterday. Oh my God! And this morning was freezing. I said, "Oh come on, you don't need me even on right now." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I said, was, Can't you people it, get it was, straight? It was mm, well, it was freezing, but considering how it was. No, you have no idea this morning. Uh -huh. I had to go outside for a little while. It was ice, ice cold. In the summer well, I'm time, you, I'm glad you and Joseph got that. It's like when, when we were talking about the guys running the 7 Eleven and the liquor store. It's like, is it is it cultural that. Well, actually, it is. It might be cultural because I, I call it. You know what I call it? Asian culture. Yeah. No. No. This uh, this psychologist in India did an experiment. He had um, an actor. Thank you. He had an actor with fake blood lie on the street to see how many people. Yeah, nobody called. Not, nobody called the ambulance. They just walked over this person with fake blood on, him, and he did it to prove a point. You know, and when you see something like that, they you say, you guy, selfish motherfucker. guy in New York do that, a reporter. Get real dirty, dressed up in yeah, brass, right. put a wig on, and sit on the side of the sidewalk in New York like a homeless guy. Even his own mother walked by. But, but you know, there was no, another... No, look, his own mother. Yeah. He, she said, thanks, Mom. She went, she was shocked. But, but, but there was another incident where a homeless guy was actually di actually died and laying across the sidewalk yeah, for, for real. For how long? And, right, and people walked no, that over was him. Not an incident. That's been numerous times. In New York City? More than once. More than once. Many times more than once. You know, it shows you how, where our society is going, I mean. No, Jimmy, that's where the society's been. They never cared much about the homeless people. Come on. One of my mom's caregivers said, um, Today, she said, today millennials uh, date and marry. I'm, I'm too busy. No, she says, today millennials date and marry for convenience and then love comes later. I says, well, that's exploitation. That makes a lot of sense. That's exploitation. Well, then again, can you explain why suicide? Why divorces are sky high? People more getting more, together for the wrong reason. More and more people live together. They don't need the legal paper shit anymore. No, when she says for convenience, that means like, like you're, um, well then again, go back to the seventies for one of the things for convenience is three's company. Three people that didn't have sex, but they shared the rent and lived in the same place. Okay. Yeah. That was in the seventies, Jimmy. Right. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.